Action picks up with Jeremiah finding a standard open from the cutoff with ace four of hearts. All right, the sand and the cutoff, just an easy raise. I mean, being in the cutoff, not the butt. I'm gonna make a slightly smaller raise and just do 25. The first real decision in the hand comes when I look at ace queen in the small blind. Okay, we have a pretty natural three bet. Uh, we could flat call this hand at a certain frequency. As you can see, our range has ace queen mixing between a call and a three bet. Given the slow nature of live poker, mixing preflop isn't really a major source of deriving EV. We can simplify to pure strategies with our mixed hands without much variation to our postflop strategies. That said, I like to utilize additional bits of information that you can gather live, which isn't necessarily available online. Now in this particular lineup, I'm not going to get much, but in your average casino game, you'll be able to choose the action which yields the most desirable result, i.e. calling if the big blind tends to squeeze too liberally, or three betting if the original opener is poorly constructed. I'm probably just gonna play pretty aggressive versus uh, this lineup in a five-handed situation. Um, so I'm gonna be utilizing a size of 12 and a half X here from the small. Let's quickly take a look at the sizing I choose and why we're going on the larger side of things. 200 big blinds effective with the big blind Annie in play, we wanna construct our range in a relatively polarized manner while attempting to deny equity to some of Jeremiah's opening range. Jeremiah's hand purely calls, though should he decide to expand his four bet range at a low frequency, this hand candidate should serve him very well. All right, 125 from Berkey, it's good size, good call, it could re-raise, got a couple options. I'm gonna use slightly different combos for four bet bluffing. Instead, just play this through a call. 